Today, we'll learn how to lip sync using the script called SF Caddy for After Effects, so let's jump right into it. Before we get started with the video, I just want to say that this is sponsored by Script Fighter, but all of the opinions are completely mine, and this is really what I think about their product. So as you can see, I've started out by illustrating this face or, or this head, and you can see there's actually one thing missing, and that is the mouth. Because the way we're going to do this is that we'll use the script called SF Caddy that I've opened up here on the side. And we will illustrate a bunch of different mouths and then we can use the script to switch between those in the composition. That's also why I have a secondary composition as you can see down here. That's called mouths. And this is where we have all of the different mouth shapes. Now when you're going to do a lip sync, there are some certain shapes that you want uh, with your mouth and you can also try when speaking, try and notice how your mouth moves and where your tongue is moving. And you can actually go to Google and search for lip sync chart. And there's a bunch of different charts and, and a bun bunch of different ways to illustrate these mouths. But here you can get some inspiration for what the mouth should look like when they are pronouncing different letters or different sounds. But if we're back here, you can see that I have, I have these, I think, 12 different ones and I have called them the different names for what sounds they're making. So you can see the first one here, that's the standard one. And that's just the simple smiling face. And then I've split them up so they're on one frame each. And if we go one frame ahead, you can see that's the next one. That's the R sound, the U, S and T, B, M and P, L and N, E, then we have a bunch of different ones for this one. It's set, D, G, K, N, and so on. Then we have the F and V, the A, the O, and the TH sound. So that's more of a sound than a letter, really. But as you can see, I have these different ones, and they're separated onto their own layers, and they are named properly, and they last for one frame. So one thing that's quite important when you're sort of placing these mouths is that if I press Command and Control R to get out the guides or the rulers, I can drag out a guide here to the top. And you can see how I made them line up here. And that way it just looks a lot smoother when you're actually animating it. But we can just drag this away again and hide the rulers. And when we have made this composition with all of the different mouths, and if you want to try this with my mouths, you can go down and download them in the description. Uh, or you can try and illustrate your own ones, but then we can go back to the main composition and we can find this composition over here in the project tab. Just drag it in. And if we go to the start here, we sort of want to line this up. So you can see it's quite big and we can just scale it down really quickly right around here so it sort of fits. You can try and check for the different mouths so you can see if it fits for every single one. See that might want to be dragged up a bit. And really, really just hold down command and control, click the arrow keys to sort of go through them and see if, if this is okay with, with all of the mouths. So you can see we have every single one here. And now the really smart thing about SF Caddy is that you just select the composition with all of the mouths. Then you open up the plugin or script and click on the load items button. And you can see very quickly, it just loads all of the different mouths that we, we have in that composition and it just looks at every single frame and then it takes that layer that's on that frame and it also names it properly. And that's also the reason why we made the mouth so big in this composition is so we get a better thumbnail of them over here in the, in the script. So right now you can see there's just a whole keyframe down here. And then when we want to change to another mouth, we can just click it and you can see it changes on that whole keyframe. And that way it's really fast to animate the lip sync. So if we'd like, we can actually go into the panel and click the little cogwheel to adjust these settings. Here you have a bunch of different things that you can change. As an example, you can change the size of the icons. So if you want them maybe to be a bit bigger, you can also change the distance between them. So right now you can see they're very close to each other. So just give them a bit more distance. Then you can also change the back color. Let's say that it was quite hard to see these mouths on top of this background. You can just click this back color and you get this color wheel and you can also pick a color with the eyedropper tool. So let's say uh, we wanted the background to be this uh, pink color. We can just click there, click out of this. Then we can click save. 
And as you can see, now they are all bigger and we have that different back color and also there's more distance in between them. Now let's say the R mouth had a wrong name. You can then just command and control click it and then change it to whatever you'd like. And as you can see, then it's changed to L. But really we just want to have it as it was before because it was already set up. This is just to show you really the possibilities of this and how to change everything. So I've imported a, a tiny bit of audio here. Let's have a listen. Today we'll learn how to lip sync and that's what we're going to animate. So we'll just start here at the, at the very start of the sound file and we'll double press L and that way we can see the waveform. We'll just zoom in quite a bit. Now the way I usually go about doing this is that I hold down command and control while dragging through the audio so that way we can hear it more clearly exactly what frame uh, that exact mouth is on. And now it's really just the process of, of changing the mouth and sort of listening to what sound uh, the, the audio is making. So today we'll learn how to lip sync. And the first one, t today, that's sort of the T sound. So we'll just go to the start here, select that mouth's pre-comp, and we'll find the T up here in the mouth section. So you can see it's under the S and T. Click that and it changes. And then today, so it's sort of the O sound too. And we'll just click and get that in here. And then it switches to the D to day. And we can see it's over here with all of the other different letters. And really just, this is just the process of listening and going through everything. And then we go over to the A, so to a and and really the a is enough for the today word even though we know that's the y at the end it just sounds like an a and this is really what it sounds like and not the exact letter so today today we look so you can see that's today and you can see the a sort of tracks out here and we'll just wait until the next word we can also look at the waveform here we can even Drag it up a bit, so we're just focusing on the mouth here. As he drags out here, we'll learn how, and it's will learn, and that sort of starts with that V, so we can see down here, we click that, and then it's will learn, so that's the E sound, and then the learn is the L, the L, L, so we click that, you can see the tongue is behind the teeth and you can actually try and make these sounds yourself and you can see exactly how your mouth reacts to them and that's really the way to go about doing this so lur lur and that's sort of er uh, that that could be e a and o so that's really just trying to figure out how your how your mouth moves so lur er uh, i would say that that's more in the ballpark of o so lur that sort of R sound, so that's the N at the end here. So we'll learn how to lip, we'll learn, learn and then it's how to lip sync. And it's how, and you really don't need that H. You can just go straight to the A because even though it's the letter O, it sounds like an A. How R, uh, so you can click that one. So how, so it goes to that U A U how. And then to lip, to lip sync t, that T, and we'll find that up here with the ST. So t, two, O of course. Two. And then we have the lip, lip sync, and that of course starts with the L, l, l and that's right here. So to li, li, and even though it's an I, it sounds like an E. So lip sync, to li, li, lip. and then we have the P here. To lip, and then we have the sync, sync. So the S again. So it sort of sounds like an E. Sync, sync, and then the N sound to so an N. And then at the end, just sort of sounds like a K. So we can go over here, lip sync, and you can see that it just ends with that K. And we can go back to our standard mouth at the end if we want to, so just click that. And this can be a tedious process, but it really doesn't have to be. It's, it's more fun if you really try and 
and notice your sort of mouth and tongue and everything, how that moves. And if you already have the illustrations, it's just a fun way to practice. And SF Caddy really speeds up this process because as you can see, it's, it's a lot easier to have all of the different mouths here on the side. And then you, you only really have to click them to change them down here instead of going, going in and, and looking at the time remap and everything. Because of course you can do this the manual way, but you have to think about the time that you spent doing this. And if you start to do lip syncing a lot, this will save a lot of time. And SF Caddy isn't really only for lip syncing. You could also do, let's say, hand gestures. So you import different hands and then you can just place them in a composition as the mouths and just give them one frame each. Then load the items into the SF Caddy by clicking the pre-comp and clicking the load items button. And then you can switch between the hands. And there's really endless possibilities with this. But um, let's, let's quickly take a listen to what we've gotten so far. Today, we'll learn how to lip sync. Today, we'll learn how to lip sync. And one thing you can do is right here, if you don't want that mouth to stay for so long, because right here it's, it's sort of finished, just go back to the standard mouth and, and try and play it back again. Today, we'll learn how to lip sync. So that most likely wasn't as hard as you think it was. And if you want to go ahead and try out SF Caddy, there's a link down in the description where you can purchase it. And if you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, post a comment and tell me what you think about this script or plugin. And be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get notified when I upload future videos. That's all for now, till next time.